So now I am going to take my um, InDesign layout design book file, which is complete, and I am going to generate a print ready interior file, which is basically a PDF, but it's a PDF with um, very specific requirements, as you will have just read in the previous section before this video. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, here we have InDesign. Let me just um, put myself over there. Okay, so I have my book open in InDesign. Um, and we are going to just check a couple of things by going to File, Document Setup. So we will check a couple of things against those um, those specifications set out by Ingram Spark for the print ready file. So um, make sure that you have got the correct um, dimensions for your book. Mine is 11 by 8.5 inches. Um, they require you to have at least 0.5 inch margins all round. So I have set my margins to that as we discussed before. You can see the margins here with the pink and purple lines and I made sure that all of my text is within those lines. Um, the bleed, so again, this is the area, this is where you can see the red line around the edge of the page here. Um, the bleed is where we have to make sure any illustrations or background colour or anything like that that gets printed onto the page extends to, so that's beyond the where they will cut, that's beyond the edge of the page, to make sure that if, if, it, if we only reached the edge of the page of it and didn't go beyond, then they cut it, they could end up being like a small white margin, which wouldn't look great. So everything has to extend beyond, which is why we have this bleed, and they require that you have a bleed of at least 0 0.125 margins on the three cutting sides, so not on the middle side of the book where the book opens. So you don't need to put the bleed on that side, it's just on the three sides that will be cut. So um, make, as we discussed this in the illustration section, but just to reiterate, make sure that all your illustrations are made a little bit bigger than they need to be so that they all extend to that 0 0.125 inch bleed area. So now that we have checked that all of that is okay, click okay, um, and that extends throughout my book, the bleed and the margins. Um, now what we need to do is, oh, and also I've made sure that all of my images are, I, uh, CMYK, not RGB, and that's very easy to convert in Photoshop if you need to. You can open your RB, RG, RGB image and just go to image mode CMYK if you need to convert them and then save it and then import it or um, update the link in your book. Um, okay, so we're ready to make a print ready file. To do this, we go to file export. Um, I will just export it there into my Elm Elf file. So I'm going to call it Elm Elf final dot PDF. Um, right. So now we click save and it will give us some options here about the PDF. Right. Ingram Spark are quite specific about um, certain things within the PDF. Um, in order to meet those requirements, the easiest thing to do is to use an Adobe PDF preset. As you can see at the top here, there are some preset um, there are some preset things which will have all of the requirements covered basically. So the easiest thing to do is to choose this rather than trying to do all the settings yourself. And this um, PDF forward slash X hyphen one A colon 2001 is the preset that seems to best meet their requirements. So choose that preset and you should be good to go. You want to make sure that it's going to print or export all pages. So make sure all is selected there. Um, don't worry about any of the other stuff at the moment. Um, just go down here to marks and bleeds and they do not want you to include any um, any marks or bleeds, which some printers want you to have crop marks in the corners or bleed marks. Um, we don't want any of those, so leave that unchecked. Um, but bleed and slug, we want it to use the document bleed settings. So it will change your PDF um, preset here to say modified because we have changed something within that preset, but that's fine. It's still got all of the other 
basic um, preset settings that we wanted. So we tell it to use the document bleed settings, which is that 0 0.125, as you can see, it's put in here now. Um, so it will extend slightly beyond the um, 11 by 8.5 inches that, that is the cut size of my book or whatever your book um, chosen size is. Okay, so everything else should be good. It should all be set up. Um, so you see here the destination is document CMYK, which is what they require. Um, basically all of the settings are what they require now. So we can say export and let it do its thing. And then we should be able to go to navigate to the folder. Here's my Alma Elf folder. And we'll see it's not finished yet because it says zero bytes. It takes a little while for it to export. But you will see once it's finished, you will have a PDF file which will be your print ready file, which you can use to upload to Ingram Spark. And it will basically be the file that gets printed and that is your book. It will be quite a large file. So I would say this is not a PDF file that you will want to use for um, sending to people by email. If you wanted to give previews of your book or anything like that for that, I would go in and I would generate a um, different kind of PDF file. Actually, I'm going to cover that in the marketing section. We'll quickly show you how to do that so that you can generate a preview file that's easy for you to send out if you want to to people. But for now, this is our print ready file, right? It's finished exporting. As you can see, it is 28 megabytes. That's pretty huge because it's high quality. So I'm going to open that one up, zoom out a little bit, and we can see there it is already for printing. So this actually has the 0 0.125 inches added. So this will be cut very slightly smaller than you can see on the screen there. But I will just check through all the pages to make sure that nothing is there that shouldn't be there and make sure that everything looks good. Just have that double check before you upload it for printing. In fact, double check, triple check, quadruple check because it's better to find any mistakes, errors, or things that don't look right now and amend them rather than finding out once you get that printed book delivered. That's not when you want to find out. So I'm happy with that. All looks good to me. I'm going to close that and I'm ready to upload. <laughs>